All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick video here for the um, Little Crow Gunworks WFT trimmer. Uh, they recently came out with the WFT2, which is a uh, interchangeable chamber. This one here is for a 300 blackout, since I make my own 300 blackout brass. Also, I have the uh, 308 Winchester one, which uh, works brilliantly. I've done a about uh, 3,000 cases with it and also I have the uh, 223 version of it really easy to use just uh, undo that set screw there uh, use a, a mic and uh, make yourself a master case set it in that spot and uh, go to town you can do as many as you want it works really 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 well um, when the uh, bit wears out you can get yourself a new bit or if you want you know sharpen it um, I recommend getting a new one anyway so I see a lot of people using these in their drills and um, the best version I have uh, come up with so far is to use my drill press Harbor Freight drill press runs about $59.99 Harbor Freight you get it on sale get your 20% off coupon if they'll let you use it and then also what I did was I got a 90 degree uh, stud uh, tool for a uh, hand drill and I've of course just set it on the press or on the drill press here, clamped it down. Usually I'll have a C clamp on here to hold it down and keep it from wobbling around a little bit. And it works really well. Um, it's it's pretty much hands off, turn it on, it runs. Turn it on just like that. And uh, it it goes to town. You see a little bit of brass fall out there. What's good about this one is uh, just turn it on, hands free, don't have one hand on the drill, one hand on the press and just run your cases through it so what I've done is I've um, of course a lot of people are doing this they make their own 300 blackout brass from a 223 case right this one's uh, not deprimed, decapped, uh, not cleaned just ran through the or cleaned real quick ran through the die um, I have a little tool I made to uh, cut it off at the right length this is about 1.390 in length so we're gonna trim off about 30 thousands off this case which is quite a bit but it's uh it's really easy once you get it all set in the hardest part about this whole tool is the uh, setting up your master case so if you just turn it on you can see a little bit of brass falls out if you tap it yep, a little bit of brass and this one should mic out at about, uh, let's see, set it down here and run it up. So, yeah, 1.363. I have it, I didn't press it in all the way. I have it set to a 1.360. I like to trim about, um, I like to trim them down to about 1.360. I think about eight thousandths over or off of overall case length of 1.368 inches and it uh, helps them feed a little better especially with my uh, my uh, cast bullets that I'm doing I have 160 grain 30 caliber powder coated cast bullets if you haven't looked into powder coating bullets I suggest you do that but that's for another video I highly recommend one of these. They, uh, they, they, you can buy them on Midway USA or directly from LittleCrowGunWorks.com. Um, I can't give these guys enough props for them. Um, saves you about four hundred dollars on that whole expensive setup. I also got the Forster dies or the Forster cutting tools, chamfer and deburring tools. All right, goes like that, and a little holder, and it'll also seat into this chuck, and then I can batch my uh, cases as I go. Works, works really well. It's really fast. And uh, to clean it out, you just turn it to the side, and you can tap it a little bit, or run it, turn it on and off, and a lot of brass will fall out of it when it does that. And you get quite a bit of buildup, so don't have any of your empty cases laying around, the ones that are ready to load, unless you plan on cleaning them, because you're going to get a lot of the, uh, debris. Wear safety glasses when you do it. Also, I'm going to pick up the uh, WFT2 trimmer, which has the interchangeable chambers. It goes for $69.95 for the housing and the cutter and then you have an interchangeable chamber that uh, for any caliber you want they'll do custom dies and custom calibers and they press in and out and they have an o-ring for seating they're uh, pretty brilliant and uh, the new chambers cost $29.95 so it saves you $70 per per tool um, if you guys any, got any questions just uh, let me know this thing's pretty awesome 
I haven't seen anybody do it like this yet, but it works great. And I think this thing was probably $12, $15, either Harbor, Harbor Freight or Home Depot. The one from Home Depot, of course, is a little better quality. Um, I've worn the one out from Harbor Freight. But uh, thanks for watching.